Okay, hello guys. We are going to go through kind of what this project should look like. So we've talked a little bit about how to draw hands and why hands are important to draw in the first place, but now I'm going to show you what the actual project is going to kind of look like. Um, so our first example here um, is this version of the hand. It has the nice shading, it has the nice lines to it, and it has this pattern in the background created by the colored pencil. So you can see towards the bottom it blends in a little bit, but there is a definite line of the hand. It's not distracted by the background, or the background's not taking away from what the hand is, and we know what it's supposed to be. Um, you also have the option of just doing a very solid contour line drawing. Now, obviously, this still includes things like these knuckle lines. It's not just a silhouette. It does need to be more detailed than that to really show off what the object is. Having all of these little intricate lines in here showing the different levels of the fingers going back in space would be necessary if you're not going to add any shading. Um, again, the background has a pattern, but it does not distract from the hand itself. Uh, if we go to the next one, again, this one's just a very simple gradient in the background, moving from a dark to a lighter orange, um, and the hand is again shaded. If you're going to pick a very simple background, your hand drawing should be a little bit more complex. If you're going to do a very simple hand, then your background should be a little bit more complex. You want to even those two out so you're not getting something that's too busy and you're not getting something that's too simple. Uh, this one here, we have this idea of a rainbow gradient, and again, this like contour line. So the background has a little bit more detail to it because the hand is a little bit more simple. Uh, and this one here is not done with colored pencils. It's well, it's colored pencils and it's paint, and it's um, it's kind of its own little thing. But you can see here, this one has um, a little bit of change in value. So like some of the lines are lighter, some of the lines are much harsher. So you can kind of play around with that middle. It doesn't have to be the whole hand is shaded and it doesn't have to be just a white line. So you can find a middle between the two of those if you would like to. Uh, and that's basically what you guys are gonna do for this project. 